I was surfing on social media when I got an advertisement that Kiviko has made an Areca crate with a pinball machine in it. And as I had several Kiviko boxes for my kids when they were younger, the older two when they were younger, um, I was really hyped because I always liked the build quality of uh, Kiviko and wanted to give it a try. And as I am a big pinball fan, I was totally hyped and I ordered it and built it with my kids. Please enjoy this review of the Kiviko pinball crate. In the box were a lot of parts, but the building instructions were very detailed and clear, so that the kids could do a lot of the assembly by themselves. Our native language is German, but the clear pictures in combination with the English knowledge from school was absolutely sufficient. They had a lot of fun assembling the pinball machine. Every few steps there is a test step in the instructions so the kids can try what they already built. The side panels of this flipper are made of laser cut wood and the boards of the play field are just uh, positioned with hooks but we have here this thick uh, rubber stickers that protect the wood and it, it gives a, a, st a stiffness as it closes the clearance. That's pretty smart and also we have one of them here inside a, a white double-sided tape uh, on which this part is glued as protection and then just fixed with uh, with zip ties and that's a very easy concept that works really great basically the pinball consists of three plastic parts for the play field here is the ball catcher Every obstacle is just mounted with this plastic thumb screws. Here are the springs for the drop targets, and that's it basically. After assembling the pinball machine, there is still material left in the box, like for additional obstacles and uh, additional rubber bands for the obstacles or for uh, exchanging with the others if something breaks. And uh, there are also these flippers, which are roughly the same. They are labeled B and these are labeled A. And they are a bit shorter so the game gets a bit difficult, a bit more difficult, but for now we leave these on. Oh no, that was so hard. I really like how easy to assemble this was also for my kids, but it's well functioning, like the rubber bands here give enough tension for the ball to bounce off and uh, I think this multi-ball catcher is a great idea also how the drop targets work is really really great because they are fixated with a spring underneath and without this they would just fall in if the flipper moves around but that's great as you saw it's possible to shoot the ramp and it does its job. Um, now let's talk about some flaws that could be done better. Like 
here it's not it's only uh, fixated via this short plastic screw so um, it's just tight in here and if you pull it back for a longer time or a bit harder it sometimes comes off it's no major issue but uh, for the kids it's annoying if it comes off every every few balls um, it's easy to fix just with a normal screw but this could have been easily prevented or done better in the next time the parts from cardboard of course will have a limited range of life but yeah it's just cardboard it's an easy fix to do something other underneath or perhaps i will 3d print a part if it comes off any time the mechanism does its job um, the kids have to hit it a bit harder because they don't have this power in the hand and uh, yeah so it's they need some time that they get enough force for the ball to go on the back of the flipper of the pinball and um, what I like is <laughs> this is just a little detail I'm not sure if it was intentional but you can fix it here and play the pinball because otherwise you move the table around and th that's of course an, an issue of the pinball because it's in a small box it's thin wood and it moves around when you play a bit harder so um, just place it on a rubber mat like a, a silicone baking uh, mat or a mouse pad so you can easily prevent it from moving around that much um, the only thing i really don't like that much is the ramp as you see the stickers are coming off here and the problem is the bending point of the of the ramp was here because it was folded in half this part here it would have been better if it's folded in inserts because then the bending points would be here and here where they're not annoying but here it's really difficult to get this nice curve when there is a very sturdy bending point here the more often you hit it the more it's likely to be broken but yeah it's only cardboard so it has a limited lifespan but perhaps i will 3d print uh, an alternative and put it on thingiverse but for now it's it's okay but i think it will be uh, broken in the near future but with exception of the ramp, I must say, this pinball really does its job. It's fun to play, it's fun to assemble, and the kids have a lot of fun with it. Overall, the Eureka pinball box was a great experience to assemble and the money well invested for a great toy and quality time with my kids.